All right, we're here with head bowling coach Kim Barrett. Kim, thanks for joining us. Um, just just start us off. First week in a competition in the books. Give us some of your impressions from the first week on the road. They did really well this weekend. Um, they started off nervous, but that's normal for any freshman uh, starting out for the first time ever. But they kept their composure, and by day two, they were rolling, and they were beating teams that no one thought they were going to beat. Awesome. Awesome. Um, you kind of hit on it a little bit there, but one of my questions would be, what did you notice from the first day to the second day? Two and three on the first day, five and all on the second day. What changed overnight? Uh, I think they saw on the first day what, you know, what to expect, and just at day two, they came in, they knew what they were up against, they knew the teams that they had to beat and what to do in order to beat them. Um, something that they saw day one, um, they needed to be more of a team and to cheer each other on. Day two, they were cheering each other on. They were able to make cheers overnight, and they got their adrenaline going, and that really helped them get those wins. Awesome. Um, obviously, first-year program means it's a very young program. We went through this a couple of years ago with women's ice hockey when they were starting. What are some of the challenges for you as a coach with such a young team? I think some of the challenges are just trying to – get those wins um, against the big programs and keeping their composure and getting the strikes when they need to get the strikes, the spares when they get need to get those spares. That's really the most important thing. Excellent. Um, now let's take a little broader look at things. Over the course of the whole year, what, what needs to happen for you to consider it a successful first year? I think what's important is just to come out each weekend with, you know, if we can come out weekends just like this, I think that's what's successful for them. Um, as long as they're happy with their performance and, you know, that's what's really important. Um, it would be nice to come out with some, you know, first place, second place, third place. But um, if we can win, especially against teams that are nationally ranked, I think that's successful. Excellent. Um, next up is the FDU Jamboree, I believe. Uh, no, there, no, we're in Sacred Heart. Say, next up is Sacred Heart. Um, so I guess what what do you look for, what do you take from this week into that next event and try to build from there? Yeah, next week and we're going to be competing against three nationally ranked teams. So um, I think the win against Dell State will really get us prepared for next weekend, and next weekend will definitely prepare us for Fairleigh Dickinson um, because Fairleigh Dickinson we will be seeing a lot of the bigger national ranked teams. So it's a small competition. There's only four of us next weekend. And that's just going to be a quieter event that will really test our experience and test what we have to get us ready for the bigger tournaments. All right, so it's, it's basically a get continue to get your feet wet kind of week. Correct. Okay, excellent. Yep. Um, and then my, my last question for you here is kind of, obviously a lot of our fans aren't really familiar with bowling at the college level. It's a, it's a brand new sport for us. Take us through an average week of preparation. What, what happens during the week getting ready to go to an event wherever? Yeah, so um, currently... We're practicing about three days a week, and um, throughout the week, we're figuring out. So the lanes, um, we let them know what pattern we're practicing on for that following weekend. They put out the pattern. We, you know, test the pattern, figuring out, um, you know, where our shot is, um, working on our spares, working on. So right now, we're working on what we need to correct from the previous weekend. Um, we're in the weight room three days a week as well. Um, you know, something we all noticed this weekend was everyone was getting tired by the end of the day. So there, that's what the weight room is definitely important is to build up the endurance so they're not tired by game five, game six going forward. Um, so that's what's really going to get us important. So then later in the week, we'll get back on the bus and we'll go to the next competition. All right. Um, now, can you expand on, on the patterns a little bit? That's the oil pattern on the Correct. lanes. What, just, just take our fans inside. What what changes in those that affects the game? How does that affect the game? Yeah, so we have about five different NCAA patterns. Um, so sometimes they're modified, sometimes they're not. Um, there's different lengths in the pattern, different volumes. Um, so um, a house pattern is what you normally would see when you do go bowling um, on a regular average day. Um, it's a little bit harder, not as hard as a PBA shot. Um, that's what the pros use but it is a harder shot than what you would normally see going bowling on like a Saturday afternoon. Right. All right, excellent. Um, and then the last question, last question, we've been asking everybody this when they come join us on Media Monday. Give us something a little off the wall about yourself, a fun fact that maybe people don't know about Kim Barrett. A fun fact. Well, 
I have been collecting shot glasses from around the world for the last probably about eight years. There you go. Big shot glass collector. <laughs> That's head bowling coach Kim Barrett. Thanks for joining us, Kim. Thank you.